Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. And a bit of a first look as well really with these two. So these tractors are available via a subscription to the John Deere digital newsletter. So we've got basically early access to them before they're released generally in Farming Simulator just by entering your details in for the newsletter. So at the moment it's PC only, but they are due for release at a later point. So we've got the new style 6Ms here, we've got the 6110M, which I've put the 603R loader out of the pack on as well. And we've got the 6120M beside it. So we've got this one on wide trolley board tires <coughs> and rear wheel weights, given the loader and the 6120 is on the wide Michelin tires with full GPS on it. The only option on the front from what I could see in the shop is front linkage. There's no white option and if we hop into the 6110 even if you do not spec GPS you still get the green star screen in the front there. <coughs> As you can see there nicely done inside new style armrest there's no opening doors windows or anything like that on here but when it comes to actually looking at the tractor see everything seems to be attached as it should be you've got the diesel tank etc crowded into the wheel rims there something I never really um, sort of like to see on these given the type of soil in this area with sharp stones in it. We actually have hose connections there for the loader this time which is an improvement and a nice bit of detail through the bonnet side panels there. See all the valve chest down there for the loader as well. Nothing immediately leaps out of place on there. We come to this one. Valve chest is missing now, as we can see. Again, everything is attached as it should be. We add blue and diesel tank on this side. So we're getting this one first. <clears throat> Don't know if there'll be more options once they're released. So we've got working beacons, front lights, rear work lights, and front work lights, and left and right indicators on there. The loader does function with the joystick. When the tractor is running, it will move without the tractor running, as we could just see. So now it's running. The joystick works at all, as we can see. This isn't the one we're actually going to use. We're going to be using the 6120. As you can see, everything lights up in here. I think it'd be better if the GPS screen sort of disappeared when you didn't actually have the dome on the roof. But we've got a selection of equipment sitting here to try on it. It's working okay with uh, enhanced vehicle mod. And obviously this isn't going to be able to power both the front and the rear mower. <clears throat> just literally got the front one here to make sure everything connects up to the front okay. So all hoses, electric cables are plugged in there. No problem in that respect. So 
So we will get the weight on the front because I think we may need it with these short little tractors. We'll give it a try on the power arrow to start with. I haven't got a plow small enough for this installed. The power arrow needs 100 horsepower, so this should manage it okay. field. <clears throat> Same time we'll check it functions okay with GPS. on this power harrow. We'll do the trailer test with it shortly. No issues with that on here. Sailing along with it, no great issues. Okay, so we don't appear to have a speed readout of the corner there at the moment. Gauges there, but we have no speed readout or engine revs or anything like that up there. So that is working absolutely fine. Nice looking little tractor actually. A few livestock setups. <clears throat> so quite happy with that bit. So we've got some grass beside me that needs cutting. So now what will be next? some wheat in what we can carve the yard. So give this a go. <clears throat> Hoses are all connected up okay there. There's nothing hanging down what shouldn't be. This would be the sort of work you'd expect to see this tractor doing. In a lot of places. Small farms, main tractor, or livestock farms, and that sort of place. So 
no issues with how that's handling this at all. as I could put on this. It's a big track it'll fill this tractor. It'll take it a long way round with the steep hill. Bad. Just need a little bit of refining, especially the uh, performance monitor there. So a bit more work was done on this map as well since the last review. Few more ponds in here and some drilling done. Slowly getting the map finished for testing purposes, or mod testing purposes, I should say. Obviously, it's going to stay my little project. This one in Felsbury. Plugs up there. better with the cap over that lower one. There's no issues with how this is handling the trailer. Try to learn how to the field of this one. So get this back up the field. Have a look in the shop. What we've got. It doesn't sound bad either, really. So in here we've got a 603R loader, which is £5,400. So we have now actually got a small John Deere loader to complement the bigger 643. Tractors themselves come under small tractors. So we've got the Trelleborg in standard, 
with whites, wide and with whites, rear twins, front twins, narrows, which it doesn't actually look out of place on to be fair. They don't look too bad on there with that one. Back to standard. Michelin in standard with whites, wide with whites, rear twins, all round twins, and back to standard. 6110 and 6120M. And yes or no to front loader. So there would be quite a bit more scoop for it. If you add the GPS, it just spawns you the receiver up there. This could be scoop for adding front weight configurations there. None or some beacons. Take your pick on the beacons. Just a few little bits they could add to that to improve it. But not a bad little tract and one I'm sure most people will be happy to see coming into the game from giants themselves. But for now that is where we're going to leave this video so I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.